Astro series Amavasya Purnima. It was a Sunday morning. My daughters Mahati and Danya were eating. Suddenly Mahati said, "Dad, the potato curry is not as tasty as it used to be. Why?" I guessed and said, "Maybe there is no onion. That's why." Mahati asked, "Why no onion today?" Mahati, today is Amavasya day. We worship our ancestors. We don't take onion or garlic. Oh, I asked Danya. Danya, do you know how the Amavasya night would be? She said, Yes, Dad. It will be dark, like switching off the lights. Correct. Mahati, do you know why Amavasya and Purnima occurs? She said, Yes, Dad. I know, because moon goes around the earth. That's true, but how two different events occur? Hmm. He said, "Dad, you can tell that." I started. Mahati, think about it. We are playing in the ground, and you are the earth, and Danya is the moon. She goes around you, and she reflects the ball, like the moon. If she is on the side. she will be able to reflect the ball towards you but if she is middle between you and me she will be reflecting the ball back to me similarly when the moon is between the sun and the earth the sunlight falls on the moon but the light doesn't get reflected towards earth when we see the moon from the earth we see the darker side of it so the amavasya occurs What about Purnima? Dad, I have a doubt. She exclaimed, "Why? Is it true that a person born on an Amavasya day is a thief? Amavasya and thief? Why? Dad, I saw a movie last week where it was told the person born on an Amavasya night was a thief. Ha <laughs> ha! I laughed. There is one Hindi movie also in similar lines, but." it is not correct it's a stupid superstition ignore those things okay dad but definitely amavasya is considered auspicious for some people and not so auspicious for others across the country it is a matter of faith okay dad she said then what about purnima when the moon is on the right hand side further from the earth the sunlight is reflected by the moon completely towards the earth creating the purnima dad i have a doubt mahati exclaimed what when the moon is on the right hand side the shadow of the earth must be falling on the moon how it can get light interesting question mahati you got it right don't think that the earth and the moon are in the same axis If it is in the same axis, then whatever you said will not happen. But it is tilted. There is a small tilt of five degree, and that's what makes it possible to reflect the light. You see that the sunlight reaches the moon completely, and moon is able to reflect completely back towards the earth because of the slight. tilt of the moon mahati do you know the days of the moon days of the moon dad why are you confusing me no mahati i am not confusing you the days of the moon you see here this is the purnima day where we get all the sunlight and moon slowly moves around moves around and reaches this amavasya position in 15 days and the next 15 days the moon will grow and reach the purnima position so it completes the whole cycle in a roughly in a month and we have named the days named the days what are those dad yes i will tell you so the days are prathama dvitiya tritiya chaturthi panchami shashti saptami ashtami navami dashami ekadashi dwadashi trayodashi chaturdashi amavasya or purnima these are the 15 days 
in one cycle and the same repeats on the other cycle. Dad, is it called Titi? Mahati jumped. Yes, correct. How do you know? Ah, I have heard this from grandmother. Chaturthi, Ashtami, all that. Correct. This is also called Titi or Moon Days. Dad, is there anything called Sunday also? Yeah, but it's called Solar Day. Solar Day? What's that, Dad? She asked. So the Solar Day is simple. It's from the sunrise to the next sunrise, 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. That is our whole day. But Dad, the day starts at 12 o'clock, right? Uh, no. As per the Western calendar, the day starts at 12 o'clock. But as per Indian calendar, the day starts at 6 a.m. But Dad, my my friend wished me on my birthday at 12 o'clock in the night. Is it not correct? Yeah, as per our practices, it's not correct. It's more Western than Indian. Hmm. Mahati has started rolling her eyes. Okay, kids, complete the food. We'll talk later. <clears throat> Quote for the day by Chandra Shekhar Azad, Indian freedom fighter. If yet your blood does not rage, then it is water that flows in your veins. For what is the flush of youth if it is not of service to the motherland? Chandra Shekhar Azad was badly wounded in an encounter with the British police. He shot himself and died at the age of 24 to escape the death in the hands of British. Salute to him. Thanks for watching.